gathered here in this place, amen, that we might come and worship our God and our Christ at this annual missionaries candlelight service. And our theme is let your light shine. Amen. Don't make it shine, but let it shine. Amen. 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 And we're so glad to have you here. We got honor the Lord on this evening to oh, yeah. our speaker of the hour. Amen. Pastor Bennett. Bella Bennett, amen, and to First Lady Worley, amen, my loving wife, and to all the preacher, Reverend McDonough, our presider, amen, to all of you God's children, it's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time, amen, amen. I hope y'all didn't eat too much, because I hope that you come back to give God some glory in this house, amen, 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 amen. And this time, we're going to ask that you uh, we follow the outline of the program as uh, Reverend Madonna is now coming to take over, amen, and we're going to ask the choir to go ahead and give us an opening selection.
If this earth is tabernacle, shall dissolve. How many know we have another house? Yes. Not made by man. Uh -huh. One of these old days, we're going to have to move. Uh -huh. And aren't we going to be glad? Yes. We don't have to wait to then to get glad. We can get glad right now. All right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our scripture. Be led by the Reverend Quessy Munn. Following that, we'll have prayer by Reverend Janice Roberts. the lights of the world. Wow. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it gives its light to all that are in the house. Yes. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is the word of God. Preachers, to President Magdalene Whitted, to everyone in their prospective place. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. And the theme says, let your light shine. Let us go to God in prayer. Most high and most holy God, our Father who art in heaven, that sits high and looks low. See our earthly need and hear our earthly cry. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, God, for this annual mission candlelight service. Father, and we thank you for everyone that is here. Thank you for those that had a desire to be here and not able to be here. Oh, God, and there are some that didn't even have a desire to be here. But God, we come to lift them up today in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, God, that you will have your way in this service. Realizing, God, we can do nothing until you come, God. And we say thank you for your presence here, God. Thank you, God, for anointing us from on high, God. Father God, we thank you for how you're going to open up the doors and the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing, God, that we won't have room to receive. We pray on today, God, that you will let our cup overflow. God, that our, your spirit will leap from breast to breast and heart to heart. Somebody among us may cry out today, God, and say, what must I do? Father, we say thank you. 
thank you for what you've already done and thank you for what you're doing right now. Thank you for what you're going to do, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we lift you up because your word said if you be lifted up, that you would draw all men unto you. And, Father, this afternoon we come to lift you up that somebody might be drawn. Somebody may be turned around. Somebody may be changed. God, and we say thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We say thank you for your anointing in this place, God. Oh, God, bless us, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. You're worthy of all the praises. Realizing, God, that you didn't bring us this for the leave us. And we say thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. And we thank you for the service. Thank you for the speaker, God. Ask that you will anoint her from on high, God. Bless us with a word, God, from you, God. Use your vessel like you never used her before, God. In the name of Jesus. And God, as you pour, she pour out the word, God. Open up our hearts and minds. That we are here, God. That we will receive the word. Oh, God, that we will cry out, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you. Hallelujah, God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to bless us that we will continue to lift you up. Do these things for us, God, and we'll be so careful to give your name the praise, the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. We do thank and praise God for Minister Bunn leading us in Scripture, reminding us that to stay salty. Amen. Don't lose your faith. Amen. Amen. So who else going to be salty? Amen. And remind us to let our light so shine. Let other people see the God in us, right? And glorify our Father which is in heaven. Amen. And thank you for this wonderful choir here singing so powerful. Amen. 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 We want to also thank Reverend Robinson for fervently leading us in the throne of grace. Amen. 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 Does everybody feel good and comfortable now? All right. We can go ahead and let go and let God then. Amen. And this time we're going to have another selection by this powerful choir. Following that selection, we're going to have the welcome. Amen. As outlined, Sister Valerie Willett will give our welcome and a response by Sister Maxine. Amen. 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 Amen.
Again, welcome, be blessed, and let your light shine. Amen. Going. We want to thank uh, Sister Whitted for that heartfelt welcome, amen, and we want to thank Reverend Jessup for that uh, response. Amen. 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 Yeah. amen. Let's just have a good time. Yeah. Amen. We all family, church. Yeah. yeah. We can't get it right down here. Come on, yeah. somebody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. So at this time, everybody can participate. Uh-huh. Can continue to just participate. I'm sorry, uh, with the offering, and we'll be letting our offering by Sister Polly. Yes. Okay. Turn each gonna lead us in our offering. Amen.
all things come of thee. All things come of A cheerful gift. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I've seen some smiles maybe handing that money out. Right. Amen. Amen. So you know what that means. You can look for them to pull you out of blessing. Right. But you already don't have room enough to receive. For God loves a cheerful gift. Yeah. Amen. It's time to give a little more. Now we can give attention to the word. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I hope we're not quite full enough. We left enough room. To receive more of the word. Amen. Amen. Because we can't get enough. Amen. Amen. At this time, she's going to be introduced by none other than the brother Horace Jessup. He's going to come and introduce her. And after that, we'll have another selection by Zion in action. And then the word of God. Amen. Amen. Good, evening. Good evening, First New Light. Amen. How are y'all this afternoon? All right. Amen. We came to the light from the creek. We came from the light to the light from the creek. All right. And that's Harrison Creek and Ellis Creek. All right. This All right. afternoon, it's, it's easy, it's so easy to introduce this woman of God. All right. yeah. She's been over at the creek, that's the first creek, which is Harrison Creek, working on six years. All right. Amen, and we just so happy and took her with her over there. She came, let me just give you a little bit about her. She came as a sister over in Zion. You know, when you first come in preaching, you know, before you get ordained, you were a sister. So she came over to the creek as a sister. And she was sister being, not Reverend being, but sister being. Then she got her first ordination and all, and she became a deacon. That's in Methodist. That's in Zion. That's a different deacon than y'all have over here. But then she was a Reverend. Uh -huh. And then she went to school and got her little, and I say schooling. So she went to school and got her schooling. <laughs> and she got her, uh, she, oh, she she got her master's degree in divinity. Uh -huh. And just recently, she got her doctorate degree right. in ministry. Right. Yes. And so she's continuing to sort the Lord and, you know, and trying to do more and more for the building of God's kingdom. Amen. And like I said, we just took a with her. She's a woman of God. She's saved, sanctified, got the Holy Ghost. And she don't beg you to do anything. She'll ask you now, but she doesn't beg you to do anything. Man, we just tickle. I don't know about the other creek. I think they are more tickle than we are tickle. Uh -huh. But we all are tickle to have our Reverend Bennett with us today. I mean, with us as our pastor. You know, she's the first female pastor over at the creek, over at Harrison Creek now. And she's doing a wonderful job. Amen. A wonderful Amen. job over there. And we give God the praise. We give him the glory for it all. So, brothers and sisters, without further ado, will y'all help me to run this race? Will y'all help her to run this race? Will you help the choir run this race? Well, after the choir sing, the next voice you hear will be coming from no other than the pastor of Harrison Creek, St. Thomas Ellis Creek, the Dr. Reverend Priscilla P.K. Benny. Y'all give her some love. Thank you. 
to run this race. Help me to run this race. Who are you asking to help you to run this race? Because this is a race that you must run. There's no way of escaping it. There's no way out other than to run the race. Hallelujah to God be the glory. To your beloved pastor, his wife, Sister Worley, and to the um, other ministers, to the trustee, to uh, this is to everybody in their perspective place. To Lottie, Dottie, Saint, the not saints, those that want to be saints. <laughs> to everybody. Amen. See, I always get that mixed up, but to God be the glory. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. To uh, my family and friends, St. Thomas, um, Harrison Creek, and to my friends that are out here that will come this evening, to God be the glory. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just come this moment in time, this afternoon, in the 94 degree heat, yeah. Father God, for a word from you, Father yeah, God. Yeah. Oh, God, that you would just cool our minds, our body, our spirits, and our soul, and give us a word, God, that even in times like this, God, we're not worried, we're not afraid, God, that we're able to continue to move on, to go forth, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father God, now, Think through my mind and speak through my lips. Yes. Use me as an instrument, uh -huh. Father God. Allow me to decrease and you increase the more, the more, the more. Yes. And yes. feed us, Father, now until we want no more. Uh -huh. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes. Amen. Our scripture will be coming from John 1 through 6. And if he leaves me to 13, I'll read to 13. Amen. Yes. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Uh -huh. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through him and apart from him. Not one thing was created that has been created. In him was light, and that light was the light, the light, the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Uh -huh. He came as a witness to testify about the light so that all men believed through him. Uh -huh. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light, uh -huh. the true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was created through him uh -huh. and yet the world did not recognize him. Uh -huh. He came to his own and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, uh -huh. he gave them the right to be children of God. Yeah, yeah. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of natural descent or of the will of the flesh, or the will of God, of man, but of God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is the scripture for this morning. I've read 1 John 1 through 13. So our topic, light keepers. Right. Did you know you was a light keeper? Right. Missionaries, light keepers. In a dark world, uh -huh. who's going to keep? The word of God going. Who's going to keep the word of God moving forth through this dark and wicked world? Who's going to be the one to still stand and hold up the light? Uh -huh. Who's going to be the one that's going to still stand and, 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 and proclaim the word of God? Who's going to still stand and deliver the message of God? Who's going to still proclaim the word of God that God is good, that All Jesus right. is the way, the truth, uh -huh. and the life? Who's going to be the one to still stand in the heat of the day? Yeah. Come on, come on. That Jesus right. is the way, uh -huh. the truth, and the light. Are you a light keeper? Or when darkness comes, do you get afraid? Do you run and hide? When when the heat is on, do, do you come out or do you stay home? Uh -huh. when, when the heat is on and there's a word to be shared, do you just say, no, nah, I can't do it. It's just too hot today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you afraid of the dark of the heat or, or the heat of the day? Or what are you afraid of? You are called to be missionaries of light. Uh -huh. 
-huh. light keepers mm -hmm. in a dark world where everybody's afraid to go out. Wow. But you'll hold up your light. Right. You'll keep the word of God in your mouth. Uh -huh. And you'll move around the room anyhow, anyway. Uh -huh. You'll move to the outer parts of the house and go on your job and and, and, and go wherever you go, the highways and the byways, and, and you'll still uh, hold up the light of God. You'll uh -huh. still hold up the word of God. You're still proclaiming. You're still speaking. You're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh. Light keepers, light keepers. Hallelujah. John 8 and 12 says, while I was in the world, I am the light of the world, uh -huh. and whosoever follow me shall not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Uh -huh. Well, he's telling his disciples, you see, I'm going away. But while I'm here, I'm the light. Uh -huh. And you need to follow me, because I'm going to leave this old world one day. Yeah. I, got a, I got a moment in time, three years. Uh -huh. And when my three years is up, I'm out. Uh -huh. But you, light keepers, will be here to carry on the light of the word. Uh -huh. You will be here to hold up the light uh -huh. through the darkness, through the wickedness. So when times get bad, you're going to know the word. Uh -huh. Because you are light keepers. And if you follow me, if you follow me, yeah. if you follow Follow me. Uh -huh. If you don't get tired, and if you don't get weary, uh -huh. and if you don't get tired of the heat, uh -huh. the, you know it's 94 degrees today. Y'all could have stayed home and said, y'all know what? I ain't even going. Uh -huh. Tell Pastor Bennett I'll see her later next week sometime. Bible study maybe, but I ain't going out there. Uh -huh. But because you are keepers of the light, uh -huh. the heat doesn't bother you. Uh -huh. You take it anyway, anyhow. You go on anyhow, anyway. Because you know that there's a word and you know that you have to be fed to keep this light going. Amen. Because in order to follow Jesus, you got to be vibrant. You got to be bold. Uh -huh. You got to be courageous. Uh -huh. You got, you know, you got to stand up any moment, any given time, any uh -huh. time of the day. You got to be the one to stand up and hold up the light. Yeah. Light is used to symbolize God and his holiness throughout scripture. As Christians, we are called uh, to not walk in the dark, but to walk in the light. To be the light. To be keepers of the light. You are missionaries sent out into a dark world. And without a word from God, and without you following God, you will be destroyed. Uh -huh. You cannot handle darkness on your own. You cannot, uh, uh, it will overtake you. You must have a word in you. Uh -huh. You must keep a word in you. Uh -huh. There is no way you can survive darkness. Darkness will not prevail. Uh -huh. The very gates of hell shall not prevail over us. For we are keepers of the light. Keep us of the light. Missionaries, disciples, children of God. Those that say I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, far baptized. I'm talking about followers of the light. Those who follow Jesus Christ, the ones that are dressed in their all white today. Missionaries that are still on the battlefield in the earth and holding up the light. <laughs> and following Jesus Christ. We are keepers of the light. We are, we are keepers of the light. We are to let our light so shine. That's why we sing our little song. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, everywhere I go and everywhere I be, I'm going to let this light of mine shine. Are you shining your light? Or are you being a light keeper? In this dark world, in these evil times, in these moments like this that we're faced with. Are you going to be a light keeper? Will you continue to be a light keeper? Wow. For your family, for yourself, uh -huh. for your friends, for your community. Yeah. We must continue to be light keepers. Your light. Hold up your light. Shine your light. Uh -huh. Don't give up and don't get tired. And don't get weary and don't lose your faith. Because light and faith will go together. It will go hand in hand. And you must trust 
in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one that shed his blood for you on Calvary, was not afraid to go, was beaten and whooped, wasn't afraid to go. They let him, he let them hang him high, pierced him in his side, hung his head, and gave up the ghost. He knew that there was still more light to come, even in you in the midst of this world, if you accept him as your Lord and Savior. That is the key. Will you accept him as your Lord and Savior? Will you go through the testing of your faith? Will you go through it? Will you pass it? Or will you just give up and say, it's too much for me. I can't do it. It's, it's too much. Jesus never gave up. He didn't say a mumbling word because of you and I. They beat him. Whooped him all night. He didn't let his light shine. He didn't let his light go out. He kept his light shining, even on the cross, with the blood running down. They crowned him king of the Jews, and the blood was still running down. Pierced him in his side, blood, uh, blood and water came out, and he was still shining for you and I. For you and I, that we may have the right to the tree of life, to eternal life. Our light must continue, so while he's there, interceding on the right hand of the Father. We're here in the earth realm. We are the ones now to hold up the light. We are the ones to deliver the message of Jesus Christ. We are the ones to, to still stand on that battlefield and fight. We got the armor on. What are you afraid of? Hallelujah to God. Be the glory. Hallelujah. This world will continue to be wicked and evil until Jesus Christ returns. How are you going to hold up your light? How are you going to continue to stand? You cannot stop coming to Bible study. You cannot stop coming to church. You cannot stop coming to Sunday school. You cannot stop learning this word of God that will continue to give you the light, give you that flame of fire to keep you moving, to keep you going through the dark times, through the dark days, through your weary hours and nights. While your children are crying, when your when family and friends come running, you will have to be the one to hold up the light to tell them Jesus is still good. God is good. He will deliver us. He is a deliverer. He is a way maker. He is Lord of Lords. He is King of Kings. He is the great I am. He is all knowing. He is all powerful. Who, who, you got to be able to hold up the light. Because guess what? If you don't hold up the light, it's going to get dimmer. Yeah. And they keep coming to you. Yeah. And they're going to keep coming to you. Right. And if you begin to worry and begin to lose your faith okay. and, and lose your hope, and then you'll be down. And I'm not talking on your knees. You'll be down laying down. And guess what? They're still going to be up. Uh -huh. They're the same old stuff. Yeah. Crying to somebody else. Trying to weigh them down. Yeah. Trying to weigh them down. Yeah. Trying to make them feel that they don't know what uh -huh. they're doing. You got to be the one to hold up the light. Sometimes you got to be the tell. You got to be the one to tell. Them, hold up. Stop everything. Uh -huh. All that you're going through. Have you given your life to Christ? Have you accepted Him? Where have you lost your light? What is going on with you? Don't you know who He is? Don't you know that He came? Don't you know that He will deliver you as well as He has everyone else? Don't you know he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore? He is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. He's the light of this world. And we are to continue to follow him. His word gives us light. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. He is the beginning and the end. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the way, the truth, and the light. He is the one that made the light. Hallelujah. Scripture speaks to us and tells us in Psalm 119, 105, the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. When your days seem dark and dreary, remember whatever day it is, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. It doesn't matter what situation is. It doesn't even matter what you're coming up against or what's coming up against you. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The 
the word of God is for us, yeah. the believers, yeah. the keepers of the light. Yeah. Hallelujah. God has, has given us light. Mm -hmm. He is our advocate. Mm -hmm. We can go to him. He didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of love mm -hmm. and of power uh -huh. and a sound mind. Uh -huh. That's 2 Timothy 1 through 7. That God did not give you a spirit of fear. What are you afraid of? He's given you love to love ye one another. He's given you power, power to raise up, to rise up, hallelujah, in a dark and evil world, to overcome. He says, you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ that strengthens you. Great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. We should all know that the mind is a terrible thing to waste. So you don't need any alcohol or any kind of drugs to pick you up, caffeine or any of that, because God has given you a sound mind, a mind that believes every word of God that is spoken in the book, the Holy Writ, the word of God. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You got to know it's, it's a word of light. It's a word of truth. It's a word that will allow you to go through the darkness and walk on into the marvelous light. It is a word, the light. Scripture speaks, Matthew 16, 18, 19. And I say unto, you, I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I have given you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose on earth. What are you doing? Are you just sitting by the side, letting everything go past you and around you? Are you binding up anything? Are you loosening up anything? What are you binding up? These demonic acts that are going on. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. We are light keepers with power yeah. and authority. Yeah. We are light keepers. And the scriptures already tells us that the very gates of hell shall not prevail oh, over right. us. Hallelujah. We can walk in the dark. We can say a word in the dark. Shall appear, meaning somebody's burden should roll. Uh -huh. Somebody should feel lighter after they had an uh -huh. uh, uh, encounter with you. Yeah. They shouldn't feel the same way they did when they uh -huh. first saw you. They should be a little lighter. They should be able to go on a little. Longer. They should be able to help somebody else even along the way. We are light keepers. Do you yeah. know who you are yeah. today? We are light keepers right. of the word of God. Right. Hallelujah. We have to carry this word. Hallelujah, that allow men to see through the darkness and see the marvelous light, what Jesus has done and is still doing in our very lives today. We are keepers of the light. God has empowered us. He has given us keys to the kingdom, keys to the kingdom to bind up demonic acts of all kinds in the earth realm and to loose his love, his peace, his, his joy, his power upon his people here in the earth realm. Hallelujah. Missionaries, there is work to do. We just can't sit back on the sideline and, and, and act and, and let life just go past us Amen. one by one, two by two, Amen. three by three. God has given us opportunity. Uh, he's given us that opportunity to be able to speak a word to somebody. Uh, to give somebody a word that will help them to, to face tomorrow. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. We can't sit at the side of our bed inside our homes. We have to keep continuing moving on through the darkness. The darkness of these times. The darkness of these days. Uh -huh. We have to keep moving. We have been given a measure of faith. And our faith in God is what moves God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Scripture teaches us in James 2 and 17, 26, that God has chosen the poor of this world who are rich in faith. Are you rich in faith? Are we the poor of this world? But are you rich in faith? Are you rich in faith? Hallelujah to God be the glory. So as the body is without the spirit is dead. Hallelujah. Faith without works is dead. See, we don't need, <laughs> some of y'all think y'all need y'all cell phone. But what you need to do is have faith in God and pray. 
because prayer is the key and faith unlocks the door. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is the part that I like when God brought this to my memory. This is what he said. He said, John Lewis, the civil rights activist who served in the United States House of Representatives, man who fought in Washington and served under Martin Luther King, uh, that they might fight, keep up, keep us of the light. Said it was good trouble, necessary trouble. So it's a good light. It's a necessary light that we must carry, that we must keep lit. I believe we must fight. The good fight of faith. Yeah. We've got to continue to fight the good trouble. You uh -huh. know what the good trouble? It is the betterment of our people, especially black people. Uh -huh. uh, good trouble, necessary trouble. Young people and older can still push transform transformative change and hope into the House of Representatives. It does matter. It does matter. Uh -huh. And you are the one to do it. For you are light keepers. Even if you did it through your prayers, are you praying? Or have you just lost faith? Or, or do you not think about, Lord, we need a good president in, in the White House? Do you pray for your president? Do you pray for your senators? Do you pray for your congressmen? Do you pray? Or are we just complaining? Oh, I ain't going to no, 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 I ain't gonna, I just ain't going to, my brother ain't going to never matter. I'm going to find a way anytime. It just ain't going to do it. It matters. You know why it matters? Because you matter. Amen. You matter. We all matter in the eyesight of God, the human race. When God gave his only begotten son, he didn't do it just for one race of people. He did it for the human race. He did it for all of us. When he came to, to lay down his life, to shed his blood on Calvary. It just wasn't for one set of race. It was for the whole race, yes. the human race of this world. And we must learn how to stand together, fight together. I can almost guarantee you that if we all pull together, yeah. nobody would have a chance in hell to beat us at anything. Yeah. If we just all pull together. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that? <laughs> Hallelujah to God be the glory. Light keepers, light keepers. We have to be the one to continue to hold up the light. Speak up, speak out. Get in the way, Lewis said. He taught us the importance of speaking up and out. We have to be willing to speak up about injustice always, no matter the cost. Your vote matters, and you matter. We are the human race created by God. Ah, never too young, never too old to make a difference. Speak truth to power. Become a disciple of Christ. And never give up on our ancestors. Didn't they pray by faith? Yeah. And God delivered them? Yeah. Our ancestors. We could draw strength on the very things that they did for you and I. They made you come to church. Uh -huh. They made you come for a reason. It didn't just begin with them, because I just believe that they mama and them made them come to church. I just believe that their mom and them taught them about the power of prayer and that there was a God at the end of the dark where there was a light that they could see, that they could pray to him and he would answer their prayer. And he would come to their rescue and he would be their light and they would follow him. So I just believe that your mama and my mama they, they decided to follow that light and drag your butt on out the house anyway and come to church Sunday morning no matter what time you got in. Because you need the word of God, which is the light to men. Amen. Oh, a pathway, a direct access to God Almighty so that you could be empowered, so that you would be empowered to be a keeper of the light. Amen. Missionaries, children, Young and old, we are the keepers of the light. Amen. And if we don't do it, who will? Oh, if we don't go, who will? If we don't speak up, who will? If we don't care about ourselves, who will? If we don't love ourselves, who will? If we don't love our communities, who will? Scripture tells us, and, and this is the very one that I love and it sticks and stays with me, that tells us to love ye 
one another. Yes. It doesn't put a color to it or anything. Right. He says, love ye one another. Yes. On his way to Calvary Cross, telling his disciples at the Last Supper, love ye one another. Because uh -huh. this is how he blesses us. From one another, from one another, to your heart, from my heart, to your heart, from my heart, to your heart, from my heart. This is how he blesses us. So we must learn to continue to be keepers uh -huh. of the light. Uh -huh. Hold up the light. Yes. Don't let nobody dampen your light. Uh -huh. Be who you are in Christ Jesus and live your life and let your light so shine right. that man may see your good right. works and know that there is a God that sits high and look low. There is a God that's going to send his son back one day. And you got to be ready. It'll be a dark day for some people. It's going to be a dog day for some people. But for the people of the light, you don't have to worry about a thing. Because you've been holding up the light. You've been keeping up the light. And because you've done your part, God's faithful to his word. He's going to do his part. Keep us of the light. Continue to hold up the light. Yes. Don't let nobody stare you into darkness. You've already been there. You already know what it's about. Yes. So if you go back into the dark world, I don't know what to say to you, but I don't plan on going back. I continue to follow the light. I continue to follow the word of Jesus. I continue to move towards the light. Darkness will come one day, and when it comes, you got to know to follow the light. You got to remember the word of God Amen. that he said he'd never leave you, nor forsake you, that he'd be with you always, even until the end of age. And that's the thing that we got to remember, that even in these dark times, Jesus said he'd never leave us. That means he's with us. Through the dark hours, the dark times, the dark moments, he's with us. he never leave us. All we got to do is continue to follow the light. Amen. Continue to be keepers of the light. Hallelujah. Praise our God. Come on and give Dr. Bendit another hand of praise. Amen. Missionaries and everyone that's here, we've been blessed with the word on today. Amen. We've been reminded that we are keepers of the light. Amen. And thank God that he had given us such a precious gift, his word, his son, that we might be light. In darkness. Uh, the Bible said the light shines in darkness. So anything that's hid in darkness, light reveals. Amen. And, and as Dr. Ben was preaching so forcefully, y'all, uh, my mind happened to go back because I'm an avid, you know, and the Griffin watcher. And there was an episode where uh, Opie was in a club. And Opie was the keeper of the light. He was the light keeper. And Opie and the boys, one day they got caught in a man's barn and they he ran them off. They jumped up and ran out. And uh, This man had a dark secret. And because he had a dark secret, after they left, he went into his barn and, and you know, he was working on what he was working on. And he messed around and turned over a lamp. And it burned his barn down. And, and, and this old man, he went to Andrew Griffin and he told him, said, well, your sons and them boys, they burnt my barn down. He said, well, I seen them. They burnt my barn down. But as the story goes on, it shows how light will reveal what is in the dark. Because this man happened to be an illegal whiskey maker, which was his dark sin. And because of that, he himself had caused the barn to burn down. 
and I'm trying to think that at the end of it, when, when it was all said and done, because Andy believed that them boys had burnt the barn down, and Opie kept telling me, I didn't burn the barn down. He found the light that Opie was keeping, which was a candle in a box. He got on him about it. But light will reveal what is in the dark every time. Amen, amen, because hey, when it's all said and done, when they went there and they began to mess around there and walk around there, I don't know if this is the episode where the drunk chicken came out, Brother Dale, or not. <laughs> amen, amen. But the man was caught up in his own lie. Amen. So if you are a keeper of the light, God will reveal what is in the darkness. Amen, amen. So we are so grateful to Pastor Bennett. Amen. For coming today and reminding us that we are to hold up the light. Amen. And let the light shine bright. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. We're so grateful. This uh, uh, is the first afternoon service we had in about three years. Amen. Amen. All our worship been in the morning, but this has been an awesome fellowship and awesome worship. Amen. And, and, and we're not going to take it for granted that because you had a missionary service that you're saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because somebody might have eased in on somebody else's coattail. And if you eased in today, we just want to offer the opportunity for the discipleship. If you're here and you do not know Jesus, I want you to make a bold step today. And say to the Lord, I need you in my life, and I need to be a light in darkness. If you're not saved, we invite you that you come and give your life to Jesus. Will it be one? Light will reveal what's in dark. You can hide this thing from men for a little while, but after a while, it shall be revealed. It's the one, it's the one. Not to God be the glory. Again, Pastor Bennett, thank you. So, so thank you. We enjoyed it in the word that you brought to us. Thank you, Reverend McDonald, for presiding. Amen. The choir is singing. If you're here, if you're here, we didn't come to bag you. We didn't come to boost you up. To God be the glory. Why they, why they're singing? Let us pray, eternal God, our Father. God, we thank you now for being children of the light. God, for we know that we did not choose you, but you chose us. And God, we say thank you. Now, God, as we continue to go forth and to do your bidding, help us, God, that we will let our light shine before men, that they will see our good works and give you glory. Uh, God, we praise you and we bless you, God, that uh, you will allow us to be busy going to and fro, letting dying men and women know that you are the Christ. God, showing love and uh, showing concern and helping those that uh, in need of help. God, you are our Christ. We bless you and we praise you, God. Thank you for this pastor that you have sent here today to share your word with us. God, strengthen her now. Restore her, God. Keep her in your care. And God, we pray that you continue to enlarge her territory. Thank you, God, for all that are assembled in this place. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you honor, and we ask it all in the name of Jesus, who is our Christ. Church, amen, and amen, amen, amen. God bless you.
To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful time we have shared here on today. Amen. And at this time, we're going to open the floor and give way to the president of our missionary department in the way of Sister Magdalene Whitty. Yeah. Madam President, if you would come. Amen. Share remarks. Missionaries, we've been challenged right. to be a light seeker. Right. Wherever we go, let our little light so shine. To Reverend Dr. Priscilla Bennett, Hallelujah. we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. To Brother Haas Desert, for the sign in action, thank you, thank Amen. you, thank you Amen. for everything. Amen. We may can't do much, but we can hold up the light. Amen. If you need us, our pastor's not busy, just call on us. Amen. We'll make room there. And to all everybody that participated on our program, Sister Jasmine, thank you for your response. We say thank you so much. Um, and let us not forget what's the gun in the dark? Turn around and come to the light. So now let us be a light keeper. Let that Amen. little light be beacon wherever Amen. we go. Let Amen. it be. And beat for Jesus. And again, we say thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 here at First and Light, we're grateful to you. Amen. As we continue to go forward. Amen. That we might do mission that we might be pleasing to God. Because the Bible declared that there's going to come a time and he's going to say that I was naked you didn't clothe me. I was hungry you didn't feed me. I was in prison and you can't, didn't come see about me. Yeah. And you're going to ask, Lord, well, when will we see you naked? Hungry and without clothes. And he's going to say, well, if you did it unto the least of these, our little children, they did it under me. So let us hold up the light. That we might be light keepers for Jesus Christ. God bless you on this evening and may heaven smile upon you. This time we're going to turn that service back into the hand of Dr. Priscilla Bennett. Amen. That she might come in her own way. Amen. And then give us a benediction. Amen. God be the glory. Thank you. This is, I think this one of our ones. Let me make sure we have this. You got no dollar? I wasn't preaching them, I, I guess. <laughs> I probably went to a lot of them. Right. Oh. To God be the glory. It is good to be um, here this afternoon Amen. without a shadow of a doubt. So may the Lord have Thank you. Um, dying in action. Amen. Church family, Amen. Harrison Creek, St. Thomas, thank you for coming out. <laughs> thank you for coming out to God be the glory. And it is good to come here for the first time to fellowship. We missed you on midnight. No, you couldn't be with us, but we, we missed you. So to God be the glory. Um, let us stand for the benediction. Father God, may your light continue to draw us closer and closer